Hello guys, it's Miglef back again, and since it was about two and a half months ago since I last uploaded a vault video, I thought of making a new one. So my account will, or this video will be split into two videos, which like one will be my vault and one will be my characters. So the characters video will probably be out tomorrow or in two days. So be on the lookout for that if you are interested in watching over my sweet characters here. But let's start the vault video. Don't forget to join the 4k gold giveaway down in the description and if you would like to become a member on YouTube you can check it down in the description. You can have you get some extra emotes and you get some extra stuff on the discord. So if you want to support me in some way you can check out the membership. Well I guess we can start then. I think the best way is to go by feed power and uh, gradually work our way up. So let's start with the worst items or the zero feed power items. Well. Here we just have tokens. I really like somehow th these um, uh, Battle for Nexus white bags. I think they're very unique and just like fun memorabilia from back in the day when Battle for Nexus was cool and after the moment that... Um, who was the guy? The the guy that hacked Ram. I, I don't remember his name but that was like back in 2013-14 I think. And uh, then we got Battle of Nexus which was a really cool homage to that event or it wasn't an event but it felt like it was like a time step in realm when the servers got hacked then we have marks here i just saved them to just take my daily chest since i get the free loot uh, clover or lucky clover and uh, chest so i keep them for that uh, i also have some exalted god marks um, for forging some uh, orcs items which i did a lot before they nerfed the item forge so i've crafted a lot of my really expensive items and uh, yeah you'll see that further up in the video then we have lucky clovers i don't know why i have the cocoon quiver uh, clover bow kind of useless then i have loot uh, loot drops here's my keys just not that many uh, then we have two useless items, the Blade of Ages. Hyperion did a really nice video back in the day. I think we can combine these, yeah. Uh, Hyperion did an amazing video back in the day uh, of the like thousand hit uh, katana. And I, I, I think that's a uh, rememberable video from him. Then we have a hook, I don't really know why. I have a lot of UBHPs, I've gotten these while doing Shatter's Exaltations and Orcs, so I've just kept them up. My decorings have slowly gone out in giveaways and other stuff, so I had a lot before, but I don't really care on keeping up on Decca since I've gotten a lot of Exalted God Horns in O3. Then we have some cool Orcs ST rings, I have two of the good uh, one with attack and speed and Dex and everything. Then I have one of the defense one and one of the uh, wisdom mana one. Now come to the tiers, tiered abilities. I, this is just for backups. G Cook is just really nice to have a lot of, I think. And um, yeah, the kind of boring tier six abilities. Here we have some reskins of old tops. They fit nicely here together. Just tier, uh, claims and um, foul daggers reskins. Here's actually one of my favorite items in the, from the machine is the Tome of Moral Support. I think a lot of people can agree on that. I really like the Tome and I think it's a nice, funny Easter egg item or uh, uh, like more of a meme item. And we have Pixie Swords are for a giveaway in my Discord. So you can join my Discord down in the description if you would like to win one of those. Uh, Pixie Armors, Beach Balls. This was a long time ago I saw them dropping and things. So I, I, I think they are kind of rare. Now we come to some more cooler stuff here, which is tier 7 abilities, and uh, yeah, I, I sadly ha have a lot of tier 7 prisms, and um, I don't really need that these many, so I would have preferred to have gotten more tier 7 seals. Nice, with 4 extra helmets, and we have some SD items, crystal wands, I don't know why I keep them, I, I just picked them up because back in the day they were pretty rare. Then we have Wormhides, Dominion, Star Mothers, Geb Shandits, uh, Tier 13 weapons, 
I don't know why I keep them, but I just do it. I have an obsession with collecting items. <laughs> Bloodstone rings, uh, STs, uh, Solas, more STs, Necronomicons, uh, the blue hard hat, very rare item. You could only get one on Moth of the Mad God, so this is an item I really want to keep, and it's an amazing item. I love it. Then we have more UTs here, fun ones, more shield runes or sword runes, helm and three helm runes and three sword runes. More UTs, a lot of UTs here, uh, some STs. Uh, these are all for field power, the onion rings. Uh, more uses uh, UTs. Then we have some reskin STs here. A lot of these sorcerer magician set pieces since I did. That on my stream yesterday. One Oreo. Sadly, I only have one. Tier 14 weapons. Uh, I have just two wands and two daggers, but I have a good amount of the rest. So, yeah, the, the tier 14 weapons are really usable and uh, really good to have extras of since they are like the main now. And I love the tier 14 bow. I really think it, it's amazing and one of the best bows generally overall. Then we have more unique UTs from Fungal, Void, Stinger, uh, Plague Poison. Then we have three Exalted God Horns. And I've actually crafted about nine before the nerf came to the item forge. So we can just go a fast look out here. I have a horn, horn, let's see, horn, <laughs> horn, 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 horn. Yeah, that's all my horns. I love the horns, and uh, I've crafted so many before the nerf. I when you when it only required three random UTs, so yeah, I've kept these. Uh, can coated. I'm not sure why I have them here. Then we have the more rare items here. I lost one of the chaotic scriptures to my PP. I died of the other day, like a week ago. I have two jugs. I have one uh, Midas. Jog, which is the one with the like lightning effect, which you could use, you could get that in the mystery shop. So I have one of those. So I guess that's a pretty rare item I have. Marble uh, swords or sword of the colossus. I have some glad guards, uh, two superiors, two di diplomatic. Only one extra enforcer. I I hope I will get one extra enforcer soon. So I have one for each class in replacement. And uh, Skull of Corrupted Souls, one of my favorite items. I think it's amazing. Yeah, I just think it's an amazing item. Uh, all the Void Quivers, uh, most of the Sword Stones I've had, I've crafted O3 items of. So I've put, I've spent a lot of these end game items to crafting the horns and such. So I don't have that many left that I did before. But that's probably everything in my vault. It's almost full now. It's 18 spaces left so yeah I would say this is pretty full and it's a complete mess but yeah this is my vault so that's my vault everyone so if you like this content and want to see my characters in another video just write a comment down below and I'll make sure to do that in the coming days be sure to join the giveaway as I said in the beginning it will end about in the 27th of February so be sure to enter in before it ends in a week. So I'll see you guys later and follow my Twitch and subscribe to the channel and bye bye.